It's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet. Right now, I'm at an undisclosed location. Now, just a second. Let me reach up here. Wine glass. Wine. You know, I have two favorite wines in the world. One Shiraz, well, two very wine grapes, however you say it. One Shiraz, you know, Shiraz grape is, well, Shiraz from the, uh, I think uh, the, the, it comes from uh, Iran because Shiraz is in Iran, doesn't matter. And the other one that I found in Italy, right, is a thing called Primitivo. This is a Primitivo something. Primitivo Salento. I guess there's another grape there, Primitivo, but. Now here, well, Primitivo comes from uh, from Italy, right? It's uh, where I discovered it was when I was traveling in the nineties, right? I was uh, I was in Italy. They say you're supposed to drink your way around Italy, and I certainly did, right? Anyway, because you don't actually get drunk when you drink in Italy. I don't know why. I mean, you have this thing where you, you you have your wine with your with your food, and then afterwards you have a little, what's it called guapo or some whatever the digestivo or whatever it is. Anyway. This is about all the wine I drink at night. No, like, uh, it's my bottle. Yeah. I have like, just like half a gram, you know, at night. This bottle's gonna last me a long time. It usually take me like three to five days. Like, like, now it's five or more days to drink a bottle of wine. It's like 750 mil out. States, or what do they call this? Yeah, this still say 750 mil. Okay, so I was in Italy, right? Uh, I'm, and I had just done a radio conference in Milano. And then I, I went down to Florencia, then uh, Roma, and then uh, I was taking the train. You know, they give you the train pass and you go down there. And, and because it's a radio conference, I met a lot of people because, I, you know, I met a lot of people at this conference. So they basically was, was uh, every time I went to a different place, they would, you know, there would be somebody that was at this radio conference because it was in Italy and a lot of people. It was, it was a, you know, community radio, you know. So, uh, so people were just saying, hey, just interesting guys around, you know. So they let me, you know, they would they would put me up in all kinds of places. That was a funny story. I'll tell you sometime. I mean, you know, I'll tell you sometime what happened in, um, when I went to uh, 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 Venice. You know, that was really hilarious. Anyway, so I get to um, uh, a place called Taranto. Like this in the, where the, where the hill, where the hill meets the arch or something like that. Anyway, they have, a, they have a, uh, when I got there, uh, for a number of reasons, I spent, now, the three days that I was there in uh, in Taranto with the, the head of the Communist Party in that area. Oh, it was hilarious because, you know, they blah, 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 blah. You know how you know how political, but they blah, they're talking all night. So they talking all night. You know what I mean? Now, I don't speak Italian, right? And they, well, they, the English was a little, uh, but I understood, you know, after a while, you know, because you're vibing, you know, feel people's things like that. Anyway, wait a second. I just like primitivos. Anyway. So um, when I got there, they, they, they wanted to take me. Uh, it was that night they wanted to take me out. So I went to this guy's restaurant. He had closed. He had he just closed the restaurant. I think the week before there was a big jazz festival, international jazz festival. So the, the, the guys knocked on us. Hey, hey, you know we got this guy here. You know. So the guy opened up his restaurant just for me, and they went, well, well us it was, it was, uh, maybe three or four, five or six of us, or four or five, something like that. And so he brings out the Primitivo. It's the first time I have it, you know, just to treat, you know. Shh, shh. I said, wow. Now, Primitivo just means the first grape. It was the first grape that came from Greece to uh, to Italy, you know, to Rome, I guess it is. You know, whatever. Came over. Right? And so that's why I got the Primitivo. But I can't get it in South Africa. So, you know, New York has everything, as you know. So I'm, I'm looking around. There's a, there's a place... Uh, integral yoga closed the last time I was here, but that, in that same street there's another ex- some sort of exclusive wine shop, you know. So I have to go to them and get a before I leave and get another Pima But this I got just close close here, so because this is like Pima Salento, Salento. I guess Salento is another kind of grape. Anyway, it's pretty, I like it. It's fine, but I want to get a real just plain Pima because I like strong wine. Okay, I'm waxing on about Primitivo because I'm excited because I haven't had Primitivo in, in many a moon, all right? Okay. But here's what I want to talk about. Here I'm in New York, and I'm walking around. I know everybody's got this, uh, what is it, uh, 
coronavirus crazy. You know, they, they got masks on and stuff like that. I don't think people understand how a virus is spread. Let me tell you a little secret. When I was younger, in my teens, I found out somehow that viruses don't really spread by you coughing or sneezing. Of course, you get, you know, like that. But it spreads through your, because some sort of stage, it spreads through your palm of your hands, right? You know, so when you shake somebody's hand, that's where it, a virus is more likely to go through, you know, uh, contact like that. Well, you know, when I found this out when I was a teenager, I would like, like some some girl would, you know, have a cold. And I said, I, I don't know. We should kiss, you know. Call him Mac out. We should, well, I didn't say we Mac out. Well, yeah, we should kiss. No, I can't kiss Mac out of cold. I said, I'm gonna, I said, I'll bet you your virginity. It's just a joke, man. I won't get no cold kissing you. So we pack it out. You know, that kind of kiss that they did in what, what Hustle and Flow, where <laughs> tried to be heads. And the dude, you know, when she said goodbye to the station, that, 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 that real black kissing, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. So I wouldn't get no cold. <laughs> People were amazed. Even my theater company, uh, seriously, we don't hold hands. You know, we just you can you can touch those get like that. And when I'm in when these religious, you know, these Christians, they want to hold hands. I don't hold hands. I don't hold hands. You know, I just don't hold hands um, because that's how it spread. Which is really anyway. So. Uh, but it spread this particular thing. What happens is it's on your hands. It's supposed to keep, keep on you wash your hands. But then people, you know, they be, you know, sweating, you know, because you get some sweats and so they wiping your face. <laughs> so they're putting the virus. It's terrible. People should know, should, should do a little bit of research. Anyway, so, so I'm, I'm up here thinking, you know, people are so, I don't understand. You got the, it's the modern world. You got the internet. Come on now. Do some research. I mean, just really, just take some time and and look, you know. Okay, so that's it. Anyway, oh, I said so, so. In New York, things that happen, but I'm having this. It's kind of weird, right? Let me tell you how how weird it is for me. First of all, it's a lot. Of, well, we know gentrification, but I can't. I'm walking around, right? Because I walk, you know. In fact, just coming here, I, I walk a long way, like. Whatever, because I like walking anyway. And I'm up to down, trying to street up to ding, 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 ding. And I, I'm looking, and every time I, I pass like an older black guy, you know, like sort of, I can't tell you, you know, they sort of give you the, go give me the high sign. It's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like the Warriors. It's, it's some weird vibe that I must have because you know the, the cats. I can, I can see that they're not sort of greeting on other people. I'm not nobody special. I don't think. But, you know, I'm getting like, you know, the high sense. It's one of those things where the, the brothers are almost like saying, like, hey, you know, something go down. You know, we're we, we going to handle it, right? And I'm like, yeah, we're going to handle it. That's the sort of, I can't explain it. It's just kind of interesting to me. Anyway, I'm going to take a whole lot of your time. It's just give this public service announcement about uh, about this coronavirus. You know, hey, all diseases, something like that, you know, and you're not going to get no, uh, what you call it, no, no uh, shot, it's a shot. They're not going to develop that for another year or something like that. That's the thing about viruses, you know, viruses don't know no borders and stuff like that. So, so you stop, you got to have a good immune system. Else, you, know, you know, one of the things, or one of the things I am going to just like that, I've done this for a long time, I haven't done it in a long time, but, you know, you're supposed to fast like once Basically, once a week, I used to say fast on your on the on the day of the week that you was born. So I'm born on a on a Monday. So every Monday, I should be fasting. You see, and I'm gonna start doing that again. I'm gonna start do fasting every Monday, because uh, it just you have to have time to clean out your system. Because all these viruses and everything, they they clog into your gut and stuff like that. And people don't understand, especially people who eat cheese. Oh, you cheese eaters, what's wrong with you guys? Anyway, but you, you got to deal deal with your gut these days. And I think that, you know, a lot of, especially black folks, we just don't know how to eat, don't, don't know what's going on. Okay. So I'm going to take any more time, anymore, whatever time. Just know that viruses, like like birds and 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 and, uh, and flowers, and all that, they know no borders. So if you want to be, how do you say, it? if you want to protect yourself from some virus, then I as well, wash your hands, they say wash your hands. I would even put, uh, them, them cloth gloves or something. I don't know stuff like that. But just you know, do something with your immune system. You know, do a flush. Do I don't know. I don't know. Do something. <sighs> Again, this is a public service announcement. <laughs>
from me and T from the past and second change to the past, letting you know what I only suspect from a undisclosed location, someplace in Manhattan. Well, up in Manhattan, bro. Well, you know Harlem. 